Yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Thales. Again, we're going to be looking at another new weapon that came out this season, of course, and that is going to happen to be a hand cannon. This time, it's not a 120 like the targeted redaction. It is a 140, and this 140 actually is pretty insane, but weird. Um, so, like, fair warning, this gun is extremely weird, and I don't understand what's wrong with it, but it's good. Okay, now don't take the word good like this thing's about to just melt people like on its own because the weird part of this gun is that it has this weird bloom effect that I just don't seem to get or understand. I hit fire this weapon multiple times and no shot registers and I aim down sights with it and it's like shots register. It makes no sense to me. And then there's also been times where I, I'm still aiming down sights and my shots are not registering. But then, for the most part, they do register and from like long range as well, which is very confusing. I don't, I don't understand. I mean, for the most part, the gun is good and it, the bullets do register and would keep away an eye of the storm. It's just, there's just very weird random scenarios where the gun just decides to bloom on you really hard and it's very confusing. Now, I don't know if somebody else has had that same problem with this weapon specifically, but that's what I've been having. Now, maybe it could have been just a very extremely weird gaming session that day. I'm not too sure, but uh, hopefully that was the case and not the weapon itself. You know, because if that was the weapon itself, it kind of sucks because, like, I, I do like the weapon. The weapon actually feels quite nice. It feels amazing. It feels very sticky. It almost feels like I can't miss, except for the fact that it will bloom on me, so that'll make me miss. But, I mean, if, other than that, for the most part, the gun is actually really good it has keepaways you can already see so a lot of range and then it has eye of the storm so an, an amazing amount of accuracy um so yeah I, there's really nothing much bad for me to say about the gun except for the fact that it has a very weird blooming effect at very random times that i just cannot i just can't like even wrap my head around so this gun is called the epical integration like, like i said it has keep away here with uh eye of the storm it also rolled with stats for all and incandescent um, or incandescent whichever one you want to use it has nano tracer rocket i actually use a uh, harmonic resonance instead just for the increased reload speed and handling of course but that i think that origin trait only works when you have multiple uh weapons from this set equipped which i obviously don't so i should have been using this but i just didn't want to i don't know why I really just don't want to and in here i mean i had the storm keep away are just a better combination if, but if you really want to you can use incandescent um in pvp stats for all is really not that crazy um it definitely could work but the consistency and like being able to proc this perk like multiple times compared to either keep away or either storm it's, uh, it's really not that great right so you're rather you're better off keep with keep away something that's always proccing you know as long as you're keeping your distance and stuff like that and i the storm where as long as you can play your life you can mostly definitely abuse this as a lot to be honest i do have ricochet rounds and small boards so really good combination there and I did have handling masterwork, so a lot of handling, speedy swaps as you always know, it's quick axis sling. I am pairing this up with the Astro Horizon Adept that I got, which is pretty much the god roll, slide shot, opening shot, accurized round with small boy. I guess the perfect god roll, like completely 10 out of 10 or 5 out of 5, whichever one you want to say it, um, would be course crew rifling just because course crew rifling still gives you a, a good amount of range. But a, what I what I like about course crew rifling is it gives you more handling, and that's what I like about it because with uh, aggressive frames uh their range is capped out at a certain amount of range i think at 40 range exactly is where it caps out so anything more than 40 range you're really not doing much to the weapon it doesn't gain any more range as far as, far as i'm concerned uh i'm pretty sure that was a nerf for a long time now um so yeah that's why i would prefer crystal rifling just so i can get the extra handling because the range itself i mean i'm already getting that for a slide shot and of course opening shot there is, is obviously working as well so um, yeah, of course, we will be the only thing that would switch for small boy, you know, but other than that, it's still pretty good. There's like a 4.9 out of five. So yeah, though, still a really strong uh, shotgun here. I am using winter's bite and no catalyst here. And for the mods and uh, exotics here that I'm going to be using are going to be just kinetic and solar targeting dexterity on flinching, you know, surges here. And of course my, uh, lucky pants since I am using a hand cannon. I wanted to switch it up. Now I always use the same exotics, always like stompies or one has crown or some other generic exotic. I'm trying to use lucky pants here for hand cannon, um, handling and accuracy. Uh, of course the bonus damage that I gain for the hand cannon doesn't really work in PVP, but I can still get the 
handling and accuracy for the hand cannon, which is really nice. Which might be the thing that's making this uh, weapon bloom a lot. I don't know. You guys let me know. Is this what, what was making my hand cannon bloom? Was this it? Was I was I making myself bloom because of Lucky Pants? I'm not too sure. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to be also pairing this with uh, Arc 3.0. Um, since R3.0 is really fun, especially this season because of the mods that you get from the artifact. And of course, Void is also really fun since uh, the artifact also has mods for Void. So yeah, pretty cool on that part. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoy any of my content, then subscribe to my channel. Have me grow, support me in any way that you can. Of course, no hard feelings. You do not want to. I do understand. But without any further don'ts, let's get straight into the Crucible. And let's see what this beautiful hand cannon, by the way, is very aesthetically um, can do. Let's go. Oh my god strike as one <laughs> Couldn't do much, I was literally erupted. They could all see me through walls. That guy is a little bit too hyper. Ah, can't shoot.
Damn. I tried. <laughs> Are you done? Are you done chasing? Ah. Uh. My God, we got lucky. Damn, I didn't even see him. This hand cannon is not that bad. I feel like it has so much bloom though when you're hip firing it, but when you're aiming down sights, I don't know. It's like the bloom on it is like weird. I, I don't get it, but it's not that bad. It's pretty good. I don't think it's better than the 120, the what's it called targeted redaction.
minutes left. Sound tactics so far. The flames have gone cold. <clears throat> Bruh. God, asshole, bro. Hunt. Another hunt will come soon. <laughs> Together, nothing can stop you. Stay on. Together, nothing can stop you. 